Hi, Jeremy. Hi. Good to see you again. Um, so I've got you here for your six month full body skin exam. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Any changes since the last visit that you want to note? Anything major? Um, no, not really. Okay. Um, so last time we just noticed a little bit of dryness and a couple of um, freckles and moles we wanted to keep track of. And it's important for us to just monitor those. So that's what we'll be doing today. So you can just relax. Um, I'm going to start out just putting on some gloves and checking uh, the basic area for any open wounds, sores, bruising, things like that, uh, where I um, would want to address those first before doing the regular exam. Sounds good. Is it okay if I touch you, Jeremy? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just looking for any major areas of concern. Look thoroughly through the scalp. Gently turn your head for me, thank you. I'll take a Deeper look when I have you laying face down, um, but the top of the scalp looks fine and intact, and no blemishes or um, open wounds noted, as well as the upper body. So we'll go ahead and continue with the exam. So, no major signs of distress. No open wounds or bleeding. Right, excellent. So we're just feeling for basic temperature next. Just using the back of my hand. There is a slight temperature discrepancy in the arms. The hands are quite warm. The arm itself is a little bit cooler. Just use the thermometer for that. Okay. This 
So about three degrees warmer in the hands and the arms. Does that cause you any discomfort, the heat in your hands, warmness at all? Um, no. Okay. I am feeling it's dry, it's not excessively uh, moist, it's very smooth to touch, so I'm not concerning as long as it doesn't bother you. I'm feeling on this side now. Oh, it's very similar here, and symmetry is always good. Okay, so that feels fine. It's going to be the temperature of the chest, warm and dry. Moving on to the face. Warm and dry. And even. And temperature is consistent there as well. Just look with my light. Um, just keep the eyes closed. I'm going to be looking at the face, the skin of the face. Again, just turn for me a little. There is just a little bit of dryness at the where the hairline is, and a little bit of freckling on the face. Good consistency in hair distribution. No changes to the hair of the face, any hair loss that you've noticed? Um, no. Okay, good, very good. It looks nice and thick and healthy. Just looking at the lips, they're nice and moist. Moving down to the arms now. Now this is where we have noticed uh, noted a few freckles that we're watching, including this one here. I'm just gonna take a closer look. And the coloration has changed on that one just slightly, so I am going to put that on a watch list. If there's any other changes in this next um, time you come in in six months from now, I'm going to recommend that we remove it. So that is the right upper outside. And there's just slight darkening in the middle of it. Moving on, taking the rest of the arm. Do you work on the computer a lot? Mm -hmm. There's just some minor callousing right where you would set your hands on a computer mm -hmm. keyboard. So that, uh, is that causing you discomfort at all? Oh uh, no. Checking the nail beds as well. And nail growth is normal for you as well? Uh, yeah. Okay. Very good, yeah. Just a little bit of normal age, aging signs, but nothing concerning. And we all have it. Good hair distribution. Just gonna note one new freckle there on the left interior of the hand. Really small, it's not something I'm worried about, but it is new, so we'll just keep an eye on it. But it's flat and symmetrical. I'm just gonna come around and take a look at the other side. Do 
have a cluster here. I believe that that's been there for a while. As well as some freckling and dark spots on the shoulders. Are you wearing skin coverage when you go outside? Um, not every time. No. Not every time. Okay, definitely want to consider that. See a little bit of sun damage that can get worse with age. skin tag right there. If it's uncomfortable, we can take that off, but um, they don't pose any sort of medical uh, emergency threat. It's in a pretty hidden place. It would only be if it was bothering you on your um, shirts or something rubbing against it. Okay. I'm gonna do a quick test of the Dermatones. Um, so, just say yes when you feel it, as long as sensation's intact. I don't think we need to do further testing. Yes. 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 Good. Moving down to your chest. Yes. 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 Can you feel it all the way here? Mm-hmm. Can you open the hand for yes. me? Yes the last one here. Yes. Okay, on this side, going exteriorly. Yes. You felt that? Um, yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Flip the hand. Yes. Okay. So that's fine. So I'm going to take just a of the skin here. I'm looking for anything that's coming off, so excessive oils, um, any sort of skin loss, or just anything that would indicate that there's some additional issue, um, or if the hair is coming out easily. But it looks fine. So I'm looking for any irritation of the skin while I do this. Any of that cause discomfort or itching or anything like that? No. So that is all normal. The last thing I want to do up here is just magnifying on a couple of spots and I'm looking at skin texture so I'll actually come on and I'll start on the face it looks super hydrated definitely do have a little bit of um, sebum in the pores especially on the nose but again it's not causing any blemishes, and if it's not causing you any discomfort, it's simply a cosmetic thing. I'm gonna check right here where there's this cluster. Okay, yeah, there's a little bit of sun damage. I'm going to recommend that you wear an SPF anytime the skin's exposed, and if that's um, something you're not as comfortable with, you don't like the feeling on the skin, a sun shirt will do pretty much the same thing. Okay. Okay. So Jeremy, I'm going to move um, down to the legs now, uh, to the front, and then I'll have you flip over for the back body. Thank you. And again, I'm just going to put the gloves on so that I can examine the skin. I'm just going to work around our office emotional support animal as best as possible as to not disturb him. So I'll start on this side. Looks 
fine. There is just a little bit of a nick right there. I'll make sure to avoid it. Is that injury still bothering you? Mm, no. Do you know where you got that? No, I don't. Okay, so just a scratch or something. And still, everything looks fine as far as injury goes. So we're doing that same thing with temperature again, running down. And it feels pretty consistent all the way down the leg. Checking the temperature against my thermometer here. Okay. Checking with my light. Good hair distribution. Thing. Just look at the skin texture in a couple places. And I'll take a look at that injury as well over here, make sure there's no signs of infection. It actually just looks like maybe a bug bite that you scratched. Is that possible? Same thing where I'm going to just touch you and down the leg and I want you to just tell me if you feel it all the way down. Feel yes. that? Inside here? Yes. Top? Yes. And the bottom toe? Yes. Alright, and same thing on this side, inside? Yes. Outside? Yes. 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 Any of that different? Um, no. Okay. And then I'm just going to use a clean pad here. All right, so that came back negative for any um, signs of flaking or oils or Anything like that. All right, so I will cover you back up here. And I am going to have you um, just turn over so I can examine the back of the um, head, the back of the body, and the back of the legs, okay? All right, now that you've turned over, I'm just going to take a look at the legs again. I did already examine the feet, so I'm just going to take a look at the back of the legs here. And I didn't note any issues before, so I'm not going to do the glove test again, but I do want to look with my light. And there is a little bit of um, freckling on the back of the legs here. I want to note this one because of the coloration of it. So that is the left calf, lower calf, 
And it is just slightly red. But it is one and a half millimeters symmetrical. So we'll just keep an eye on it because of the color. Okay, moving on. Looks good. Temperature. Preparing side to side. And that is super consistent all the way down. Just a little bit of heat on that. I just by that knee there. Minuscule difference though. Do you have any pain when I press right here? Um, no. Okay, so then I'm not worried about that heat. If there's no pain, it's unlikely there's any sort of infection. So again, just say yes when you feel me touch you. Yes. Yes. That's fine. Run up to your upper body. So I will just sort of work my way up the body. So I'm going to just this down a little. Put on a fresh glove here. Checking the back of my scalp now. There is one freckle right underneath the skin there underneath the hair there, rather. Take a closer look at that. Don't remember making a note of this last time, but I will refer back to my notes. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna watch that one as well. It's a little asymmetrical. Two and a half millimeters by one and a half millimeters. I'll look through the scalp with my light since I did see that one issue.
this looks fine. Okay, moving on to the back. freckles we've noticed before still flat this one here seems to have gotten probably a little bigger let me look at my notes from last time okay yeah let's re measure that one half a centimeter now. I think that has grown. It's still flat, so there's not much we could do to take off except for to dig deeper in the skin, but again, in six months, if that one's um, still growing, I want to do a biopsy of it. Okay, and then we have this one up here, which we've been watching for a while. looks pretty much the same. Does that bother you at all when I, does that cause any nerve pain or tingling? No, okay. And I can just see a little bit of that discoloration and sunspots here better back on the back. Okay, arms look good. Pretty consistent, a little cooler in the arms and the back, but we noted that on the front. Okay, that's fine. Say uh, yes if you feel it all the way. Feel that all the way? Yes. Okay, how about on this side? Yes. 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 Okay. And feel it there mm -hmm. and here. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, taking a close look at some of that skin texture. A couple more notes here. You just run that cotton pad, and I believe you are good to go. And the skin has had no discharge, but also no redness or reactions to touch, which is good not hypersensitive or experiencing any sort of allergic reactions. Okay. All right, so overall, Jeremy, I think we're in pretty good shape, but I will have you back again in six months because there are a couple uh, of these I noted and the one in the scalp that I really wanna watch closely. Um, and we wanna make sure that we're just being proactive about it, okay? Any questions for me? Um, no, not right now. All right, I'll just send this um, referral to uh, reschedule for six months to the front desk, but um, otherwise I will I'll let you get dressed and be on your way. Thank you so much. Thank you.